This video applies to Huawei Cloud Engine 8860 series switch. This series is the world's first top of rack switch that supports flexible interface cards. At present, this series has only one model, CE8860 or CEI. The switch is 442mm wide, 600mm deep and 88.1mm high. It weighs 21.2kg when equipped with two power modules and two fan modules. A CE8860 switch must be installed in a standard 19-inch four-post cabinet or rack. The cabinet must be at least 800mm deep. If this switch needs to be installed in the same cabinet with a CE12800 switch, keep a distance of 700 to 800mm between the front and rear mounting rails in the cabinet. A CE8860 switch requires 3U of vertical space in the cabinet. Determine its position in the cabinet before the installation. The switch uses a front-to-back or back-to-front airflow design, with the air flowing in or out from the port side. The cabinet must meet this cooling requirement. On the switch, the side with power modules and fan modules installed is the power supply side, and the side with service ports is the port side. To leave sufficient space for cables, the vertical distance from the port side to the interior side of the cabinet door must be no less than 130mm and the distance from the power supply side to the interior side of the cabinet door must be no less than 70mm. Installation tools. These tools will be used during installation. Installation engineers must wear ESD clothing. Move product box. To avoid damage to the switch, use a cart to move the product box to your equipment room before you unpack it. Installation accessories. Installation accessories in the box include front mounting brackets, the quick start guide, floating nuts, M6 screws, M4 screws, console cable, ground cable, and expandable guide rails. The guide rails have four rubber plugs and two M6 screws in the package. Installation precautions. Wear an ESD wrist strap or a pair of ESD gloves when you install the switch. Do not touch the switch with bare hands. Installation procedure. One, install the guide rails in the lowest 1U space within the 3U space reserved for the switch. Install the guide rail marked L front on the left front mounting rail. Pull the expandable part of the guide rail until it is attached to the rear mounting rail and hook it on the rear mounting rail. Keep the front and rear sides of the guide rail on the same horizontal plane. Insert rubber plugs into the uppermost holes on the front and rear sides to secure the guide rail. Install an M6 screw in the lowest hole on the rear side of the guide rail. To enhance the shock resistance rating of the switch, and mount it more securely. You can install another M6 screw in the lowest hole on the front side of the guide rail. Install the other guide rail marked R front on the right side. It should be noticed that only two M6 screws are available in the package of the guide rails. You can use other M6 screws delivered with the switch to secure the guide rails. Two, install floating nuts. On each front mounting rail, Install two floating nuts in the one new space above the guide rail. Three, install mounting brackets with M4 screws. This video illustrates how to install the mounting brackets close to the port side. Apply the same method if you want to install them close to the power supply line. Four, install the switch in the cabinet. It is recommended that the switch be lifted onto the guide rails by two persons. Then slowly push the switch until the front mounting brackets are attached to the floating nuts on the mounting rails.
Secure the front mounting brackets on the mounting rails with M6 screws. Connect the ground cable. 1. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the ground screw from the ground point on the switch. 2. Fix the M4 lug of the ground cable. The end with a smaller hole to the ground point on the switch with the ground screw you just removed. Three, remove the ground screw from the ground point on the cabinet and connect the M6 lug of the ground cable to this ground point. Install a power module. The power modules and fan modules in the switch must have the same airflow direction. You can identify airflow directions power modules and fan modules by flags on the modules. Hold the handle on the power module with one hand and support the bottom with the other hand. Keep the side marked top facing up and push the power module into the slot. When the power module is completely seated in the slot, the lock will be locked automatically. If the slot is covered with a filler panel, remove the filler panel first. Hold the lock on the filler panel rightward and pull the filler panel out by the handle. Then install the power module in this slot. Install an interface card. The CE8860-4CEI supports pluggable interface cards. An interface card can be installed in any slot on the port side. By default, a switch is delivered with three filler panels in the interface card slots. If only one interface card needs to be installed, install it in the empty slot or any of the covered slots after removing the filler panel. Press the two locking clips in the middle of the card to eject the ejector levers. Slowly push the card into the slot and rotate the ejector levers inward. When the card is completely seated in the slot, the ejector levers will buckle with the locking clips. If you feel resistance or find the card inclined, pull the card out and push it into the slot again. Do not force the card into the slot in this case, otherwise the connectors on the card or the black plane may be damaged. To install more cards, remove the filler panels from the slots first. Press the two locking clips in the middle of a filler panel to eject its ejector levers. Rotate the ejector levers outward and slowly pull the filler panel out. Then install a card in the slot. Connect a power cable. Plug a power cable into the power socket on a power module and bundle the power cable on the handle of the power module with a velcro strap. Connect the other end of the power cable to a power source. Post installation check. After you finish the installation, check against the checklist provided in the hardware installation and maintenance guide. That's all for the installation guide. For more information about the CE8860 series switch, visit us at e.huawei.com.